Sydney. At the beginning of the movie, we got Jenna Malone's character, Grace, walking down the sidewalk. All of a sudden, a nun, Mother Superior, shows up holding a revolver at her. And you hear Grace say, My brother always believed I had a guardian angel. And that's how the opening scene opens. Grace is back at home and she's like seeing some supernatural shit going on in her house. She turns and she looks at her brother's picture of her and her brother and she sees a red blood smear down his face. The phone rings where she receives news of her brother's Michael's murder-suicide in Scotland where he was researching something at the ancient Mount Savior Covenant. Grace travels to Scotland to find out that Michael was a priest investigating an extreme religious group that believes in the extreme teachings of the Bible. She suspects foul play and investigates further, having visions of nuns jumping from the top of the mountain into the ocean. She confronts Mother Superior who confesses to cleaning Michael's body before handling it over to the police. The story seems to have some supernatural elements and it involves a religious theme. The Covenant believes in extreme teachings of the Bible and just recently one of the nuns pulled out her own eye and blaming it on the devil. Grace had no idea that her brother was into this righteous religion she said that he was devout it but he wasn't insane and she was away from him for a few years while her brother was on a mission to find this ancient relic mother superior greets grace by telling her that her brother was devout it, but the darkness possessed him and made him commit sins Detective Harris takes Grace over to where the crime scene is and it's on top of the church where below is the ocean and this is where these crazy ass nuns will take steps backwards for how many sins that they've done and if they've done too many sins they're going to fall to their death because that's what God wants. Detective Harris explains to Grace that this land is part of the Vatican, not Scotland, so it's not in his jurisdiction. Grace goes sees Michael's body in the morgue, and while she's observing his body, she's overcome with emotions. She looks in the mirror, and all of a sudden, she sees Michael's ghost reaching out to her, and he's saying, hurry, you need to get out of here. It's not safe. And with this, Grace gets a flashback of to when her and Michael were in a storm when they were just kids. And Michael's reaching out to her and saying the same thing as he did in the mirror, saying, we gotta go, it's not safe here. And next thing you know, Grace wakes up in the hospital. She passed out from this incident. And Father Romero is there and he's from the Vatican and he's investigating her mother's murder slash suicide. And he's asking her about, do you have any other family members? And she's, my adopted stepfather is in jail for killing my adopted stepmother. And my adopted brother here is dead. And why doesn't he have any sand on him? And why is he totally clean? If he fell on the beach, why is he totally clean? Father Romero promises that this will be a full investigation. And do not worry. As he leaves her, she has another vision. She falls back into medieval days where there is these night riders are chasing a child. After she recovers, she decides that she's gonna go over to the other side of the beach where her brother's body was found. And as she gets over there, she has another vision where she sees all the nuns dropping to their death from the old tomb that's up there where her, her brother fell and it's over and over again and this really spooks grace where she passes out and falls into the ocean where a little bit later on a driver um, is able to see her and gets her out of the ocean the next thing we know she wakes up and she's in a covenant in a nun's dress and she is pissed off because she's not getting any answers and she has her suspicions of Mother Superior. Grace's behavior is now beginning to get amped up. So Father Romero takes Grace to the top of the church 
where it is shown the confessional spot. In medieval times, the covenant was on a pilgrimage route of the Knights of the Morning. Hard to tame, so they confessed their sins. Every sin, they took a step backwards. The more sins they did, the more steps they walked back. Some would fall to their death, and some would just jump off, hoping that God would catch them and save them. Father Romero confesses that he has two sins and takes two steps backwards, but he's okay. He explains to Grace that Mother Superior has confessed to cleaning her brother's body before handing him off to the police and that the detective is going to interrogate her tomorrow. Father Romero gives Grace a box that contains her brother's belongings and inside of it is a diary with symbolic language in it. Grace reveals that she can read it because it's a language that they taught each other a long time ago. While reading this, she had another flashback. She and Michael were living with their adopted parents, the O'Rourke family. Mr. O'Rourke was a fisherman with a short side house. He was struck in a storm and died. A police officer came to arrive to give the information to their mom. Grace, being a child, was horrified. Hearing this like any other child would have, she went up and prayed to God for the return of her dad. A few minutes later, miraculously, her dad stood right behind her. Back in the room, Grace sees a nun in the mirror and she looks and then she opens the door and she looks around and there's nobody there. She thinks she's starting to lose her mind. Father Romero and Mother Superior are arguing about Grace and Mother Superior is wanting her captured because she believes that she has a demon in her and that demon is responsible for killing her foster father and also possessing Michael, her brother. Father Romero's like, calm down, that I will handle it. And as they start to walk out of the church, all the candles in the church blow out, symbolizing something is wrong. Grace sees Sister Beth running away from the picnic and she follows her and she leads her to a place where she sees her cutting herself. And she's like, Sister Meg, but she disappears and all of a sudden Meg's behind her and she's like, peekaboo. And then she's not there and it was just a hallucination. She's having these visions that Mother Superior is telling her that you're having visions of the past and the future. But Grace doesn't want to believe her. Inspector Harris is questioning Mother Superior about the body and she does confess of moving the body from the beach and she justifies it as being a Christian act. Grace reads Michael's diary and she gets more flashbacks. Grace's dad was never the same after that stormy rainy night. He believes that he died yet somehow brought back to life and he blames Grace for being the devil. And he kept her and Michael locked in a cage while he tried his own crude exorcism. Meanwhile, his wife, he thinks crazy's got locked up in a cage and she's able to escape. But then he fucking chases after her and stabs her a bunch of times and murders his own wife while Grace is walking through the window. Later on, she comes right back in. He's about to get Grace, but something knocks him out from behind and he falls on the ground and he gets put in prison. And the brother, Grace and Michael, get adopted by the Covenant, tries to adopt him. We see a flashback where young Mother Superior and a priest in a car on the way to the Covenant. The priest forcefully drops Michael into the middle of the road and tries sedating Grace with chloroform. He is uttering the motto of the coven.